What's up guys, Farce and I here, and I figured today we could sit back next to the fire with a nice hot cup of coffee and just talk about a topic that I've seen a lot of people kind of flirt with. So the question, obviously the title of this video, should entrepreneurs learn how to code their software, their apps, whatever they want to build their business around, or should they hire a developer, a software developer to do that for them? Now, some of you may think I'm biased because I am a software developer. I am going to be taking on freelance clients here in maybe the second quarter of 2018. So keep that in mind if you're watching this video at that time. But I am an entrepreneur who, I'll call myself an entrepreneur. I am working. I'm an inspiring essentially because I'm working towards building my application right now and I want to build a business around that application. But many people may see what I've been doing and think, should I also learn to code to build my own app or should I hire somebody else to do it? And that's what we're going to talk about in this video today. All right, so let's start off by laying out the playing field a little bit, kind of give you a little bit of perspective if you're not in this exact position. But there's two ways that we could go about it. One, you have a business or you plan to grow a particular business and you want to build an app to supplement that business. If that's the case and I was in your position, I would either bring a software developer on to my team or maybe I'm not at that scale quite yet. If that's the case, then I would bring on a, or not bring on, I would hire a freelance developer to build that software for me and then they would just kind of maintain it if, you know, any hiccups or any updates that I wish to have in the future. That's just kind of like how it goes when you hire a software developer that you don't bring on the team. So if you need a lot of software, hire a software developer. If you just need this one application, maybe a little bit of maintenance, then hire a freelance developer and it's, it's, it'll be cheaper in the long term. However, now let's get into option two, and that is instead of building an app to supplement your business, you're building an app in order to be your business. And that is something like, I'm gonna you know, choose something big now. Facebook, in order to become Facebook, it was that software application, the actual platform, Facebook. Snapchat, same thing. WhatsApp, same thing. That, you know, it's not like you're, you're something like a Christmas tree farmer, since you know, in the light of the holidays, it's not like you're a Christmas tree farmer and you want to build a website or an app in order to help you know, grow your business. That's option one. Option two is like I said, your app is your business. And that is where you really want to consider, should I learn to code or should I hire somebody? So let's, let, let me ask you this. Do you want to actually learn to code? If it's, a really, if it's really, really daunting and you don't think you'll ever use it beyond this single business, or if you're really planning on, I'm gonna build the main app, and then once I start making money, I'm gonna hire another software developer to come in, maintain the application, and then I can go do the business thing, then, then I, maybe you don't want to actually be the software developer who initially builds the app, but it's really fighting with yourself right now look, I have this much time, but I only have this much money, so it makes sense for me to spend all of this time to learn to code, to build the app that I want to build a business with, than to hire somebody because I don't have enough money. See, now that is where it gets tricky. I would recommend if you don't necessarily want to build software for a living or want to build multiple applications to build multiple businesses, to actually spend that time making money and learning, if you want to be in a particular industry, learn that industry, get a job in that industry, you're learning, you're making money in order to hire a software developer to build that for you. Easier said than done, I understand that. But let's actually reform the scenario that we're in right now. So before we were at, you want to start and run a software development company, but you're unsure of whether or not you care to be the software development person. And I mean, if you are really like, not wanting to do it, then don't. Hire somebody else out, do something else that you'll enjoy more and that you'll learn from in order to make money to hire a developer to build something for you and maintain it for you. And then you'll hopefully, if your business is successful, which is another thing, that you'll have enough money to, to keep this freelance developer kind of in your pocket where, oh, I want this feature, I want that feature, I want, you know, there's different things that need to happen through the lifespan of an application that you'll need a software developer for. If you can do it yourself, that's great, but if you really don't want to do it, then you'll probably find ways to say, eh, we don't need that feature right now, or we don't want that feature right now, even though you may need it or you may want it. You see what I mean? But a reformed scenario of that would be 
you want to start and run a business like before, but you want to do software development. And in either case, what I would recommend you to do is like if you're unsure or you know that you want to uh, be the software development side of things is to get a course. I'll, I'll link a course down that taught me iOS development down in the uh, description below and take that course if it's iOS or if it's web development. I may have a couple course links down there. Um, whatever the software application may be, try it out for a month. Try to learn, try to do. Regardless, it's nice to know if you're head of a software development company to know the basics of software development. If you know nothing, that's eh, it's kind of iffy if you'll be successful or not. It's possible, but it's better to know the basics of software development so you are familiar with your industry, if that makes any sense. But when it comes to learning, after you spend a month on that, you'll know. You'll know if you want to go with this or if you want to do something else to make money to hire a software developer for you. For me, I have been a computer science student for the past four years. I'm finishing up my last year right now. So it was a no-brainer. I'm like, okay, I want to build uh, apps and turn those apps into businesses. And on my own, outside of schoolwork which and regular work, which takes up a huge chunk of my time, I learn iOS development, or I've learned iOS development, and I'm slowly working on my, my iOS application. And luckily, this winter, once it's actually winter break from school, I'll be able to dive more into iOS development. And I'm going, I have an app that I'm building that I plan to build a business around. So for me, I learned how to code in order to build these businesses, but that's because I'm immersed into the software development industry because I'm about to be a computer scientist, technically, or literally, really. But if you're an entrepreneur, and you are just wanting to run the business and you know that you don't want to do software development, that's an easy decision. Otherwise, try software development out for a month. If you like it, continue with it, build your app for your business and then implement the features, maintain, do everything. Otherwise, you won't like it and then you spend some other time making money in order to hire a software developer like me come around May of 2018 to build an app for you. And that's what I'm gonna leave you with. I hope this was clear enough for you guys. I kind of reiterated the same point again and again, try to knock it into your brain that you may not want to be the software developer in your software company, but it's good to know the basics of software development. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. I am about to make a video here soon regarding how to hire a software developer for your company. And one way not to do it is to say I'll give you 20% of my company if you build my app for me. Eh, that's a really bad way to go about it, but I'll get into more detail in the next video on this channel. So stay tuned for that. Be sure to subscribe. If you found any value in this video, be sure to like it because that tells me that you enjoyed it. Let me know anything in the comment section below that you want to know. If you have any questions, if you have any recommendations, I'm happy to hear. I'm open ears. So until next time, guys, have a good one. Thank you.